All right, here we go with another video. This this is actually being recorded on the War Dragon. I'm really interested in seeing if this NG Scope client uh, will uh, will run on the War Dragon. I'd like to see how well it performs. Uh, I have been pretty busy building them, uh, but I wanted to take this uh, this little bit of time here to go through and see if we can set up this ng scope client so i wrote some notes down here uh, as far as what is ng scope client you can see i have the page pulled up but uh, the things i wanted to point out high performance gpu accelerated user interface for signal processing protocol analysis uh, automation tool for tests and measurements while it does say uh, support any tnm instrument i really don't have any uh, but what i do have is the ant SDR and some meta stuff so I'll probably make this a two-part video uh, this first part will just go through and just get this ng scope client set up from what I'm reading not all things are supported with the SDR there's like an oscilloscope type uh, feature and some other things so really I just want to get it built and see how it runs and then I'll probably dig more into it we jump over to the Scopehale apps uh, repository here and this is pretty much what we're going to be using uh, to build this and it and it actually has a really good uh, getting starting guide which I have pulled up here so uh, we're of course running 64-bit uh, Intel um, we have AVX2 I'm sure uh, I'm looking at the Vulcan support on the War Dragon, uh, thanks to the uh, Intel there. Uh, should be fine there. RAM consumptions can get pretty high, um, depending on what kind of analysis that you're doing. So, got to keep that in mind. And as far as like getting it set up, I'm just going to jump down to the Ubuntu section. And we're going to do some uh, copying and pasting here. I am going to try this without the uh, catch two, and we'll see what kind of complaints it makes. I just cleaned that up, uh, how that was copied and pasted there. Let's see, we might need to check out the, uh, let's see, so it does have a note here about the Vulcan SDK. And because we're on 22.04, we're going to jump down. Let's see, I'm not concerned about the LXI component. Uh, I'm not concerned about anything here. Let's see, Fedora, nope. Alpine Linux, nope. Uh, let's build this FFTS library. Usually I build things in the user source so that when I distribute it, it's there. But uh, I'm just going to do it in the home directory this time. Make directory build. Let's see. CMake D enable shared equals on make J four Yeah, it's fine. We'll just sudo make install sudo LD config. I'm going to install the uh, SDK from the link that it refers to here and you can see it talks about the uh, as of this documentation they had tested up to 13275 it's probably fine 
so 13275 we want the 22.04 and should be pretty safe here so it'll w get uh, the specific version there and then install the Vulcan SDK I've not seen this mess anything up A lot of these things are very similar to uh, what Cyber Ether needs. I'm just looking at it here real quick. So that was pretty quick. Uh, let's see. And we'll remember if we need that, cache, that catch too, but uh, let's get clone recursively in our home directory. The scope hail apps. Let's see about uh, what it'll do without that catch too. And this is actually the first time that I've built it since a recent change to the repository uh, before I had to do kind of a workaround to get it to build. So it'll be interesting to see if just like within the last few days or so, uh, if the change that oh, that was made uh, allows this to build without any uh, you know modifications here I'm gonna let it run for a little while um, as long as everything goes well I will just cut out and come back towards the end so we don't have to sit here and watch this build the whole time All right, it looks as though everything built, and yes, that took, I don't even know, 20, maybe 15, 20 minutes. I don't know. I didn't pay attention to the time, but it looks like it built, and so what we should see, uh, let's see. Yeah, so in our build source ng scope client, Let's see what we get here. All right, so we did, we built it, and I guess I might as well show uh, why I stopped there. I, while it was building, I went back to the ng scope client uh, main uh, top level, uh, basically, and looked for the scope hail UHD bridge that I mentioned, and we'll go ahead and pull that into our home directory too. Aha. Uh -huh. So I forgot to recursively um, clone on this uh, Scope Hill UHD bridge. So that's why I've been sitting here for 
uh, a while now. Let's fix this. We change into our scope hail UHD bridge. We can build it like we're supposed to. And there we go. So let's see if it's going to help. So, okay, connects to UHD, specifies the port, waveform port, specifies. Well, we made it this far. Might as well at least check it real quick here. Let's see. So I'm going to guess that it put it on the default ports, 5025, 5026. So let's go back to our scope client is still running. What are we at here? Set up. Oh, let's see. Add SDR connect. UHD bridge, let's do twin LAN, I believe it is. Twin LAN, separate sockets, yeah, for interfacing to USB. UHD bridge, STR, twin LAN. TCP IP or host name port fifty twenty five for twin land. Okay, so local local host local host fifty twenty five fifty twenty six, I think it was. Alright, well, we got a connection, it looked like. Let's see, arm the trigger in normal mode. Arm the trigger in one shot. Acquire a waveform. Ah, here we go. Filter graph. What do we got here? Import. Here we go. FFT. Okay. FFT. Spectrogram. Vector.
vector frequency. Wow. So not all things work. Uh, I actually would have to really kind of dig into this. Let's see what we got here. Alright, well, that's enough. We see we can uh, get it to work with the bridge. Obviously, lots more to uh, experiment with. I'm just going to close this out. It's pretty late, so there is how you can get up and go on with NG Scope Client and the Scope Hail UHD Bridge. Uh, once I experiment around with that a little bit more, I'll um, come back with probably a more comprehensive video than just getting it set up and uh, messing around with it a little bit. But it seems like a very powerful tool, uh, especially to look at uh, including on the uh, War Dragon for people that are interested in uh, signal analysis and uh, using uh, the SDR. Uh, well, in this case, you'd have to add an SDR, but uh, as like an oscilloscope or a test equipment or whatever it may be. So definitely something to dig into a little bit more but uh, thanks for hanging out